You're progressing through these examples at a steady pace, but I knew you could crack them. All right, on to the next one. Tell me, detective, do you enjoy the theater? All righty. Who organized Emily's murder? Who sent all the ghost texts? Who followed the ghost texts instructions to kill Sasha? What kind of a building are we in right now? Sasha, Slim, Leo, Blake, Helen, Four Eyes, Harvey, C Dome, Paul, Ashley, Jeff, Larry. Some of these are very cryptic. C Dome? Okay. Well, let's just uh, start in this room. Seems like your old castmates were just as surprised as the trade papers by your return to this stage. <laughs> I've got to thank you for that, Harvey. Saw the articles. Broadway star Sasha returns to independent theater for limited run. Talk about publicity. Even I wanted to believe that fairy tale you fed the press. Well, the people are buying it for now. Still a lot of work to do, you know. And a lot of reporters outside. In any case, you gotta put up a good show this time. We don't want people to start wondering why you really came back. Otherwise, we'll have a PR disaster on our hands. Don't worry. I did this show for years, remember? I didn't get this big by doing nothing. In that, I have no doubt, Sasha, my dear. It's just, when we meet that good-for-nothing who's blackmailing you, don't let him get under your skin, yeah? If money can make it all go away, then that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> There's only three people who know what really happened two years ago. Whoever's blackmailing me this time, I highly doubt they have anything legit. Probably just someone who heard the rumors and wants to make a quick buck. Okay. Sasha's being blackmailed and there's three potential candidates who we don't know about. Being blackmailed. Three... People know about what happened two years ago. Uh, potential people? Hmm. Got another text. It's asking me to meet him in the storeroom. Let's go. Are we at a theater? Yeah, that's what they mentioned. Come on in. <gasps> Slim? <laughs> Surprised. Sasha, let me handle this. You keep hinting you have something. So let's see it. Well, allow me to introduce you to this rope. Let me guess. You're gonna try to hang us with that frayed piece of junk. Oh, you're right about that. See this cut here? Who did that, I wonder? <laughs> what do you think the police would say if they got their hands on this, huh? I don't have time for this. Just pay him. You got your cash. Give it here. And just remember. This deal never happened. You go around blabbing about this, and you'll live to regret it. Mark my words. Oh, I see. I see you're still as vengeful as you were two years ago. And no more of those texts, either. Those about drove me crazy. What texts? Oh, stop playing dumb. You sent me texts in Emily's name. Look for yourself. You'll pay with your life the next time you return to the stage, Emily. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> that's too hilarious. What, are you being haunted now? Oh, shut it! Did you send this or not? As if. Look, that ain't even my phone number. Maybe it was from Emily. Ooh, scary. You're such an asshole. Sasha, Sasha, leave it. We got the evidence back. That's all that matters. Let's just get out of here. Come on. Nice seeing you. Break a leg. Or maybe something else. Oh, no, let's follow those people. So Sasha seems like she was involved in something that nobody wants to talk about two years ago. Emily's murder. Slim is blackmailing her. She pays him. But he says he did not send the texts, the ghost texts. Oh, 
the heck is that? Huh? <sighs> what do you want now? What? More bad news? No, it's nothing. I don't think Slim sent those texts. He's in it for the money, not to torment you. Then, whoever it was is still out there? I'm afraid so. Tomorrow's the anniversary of Emily's death. I'm starting to think you going on stage isn't a good idea. At least until we've figured this whole thing out. I mean, what if someone attacks you? I get you're concerned, but don't be, okay? I told Larry I'd do three shows, but my plan is to perform for one night only. I'm supposed to appear back on Broadway tomorrow. I signed a new agreement with the Halcyon Theater Company and everything. If I don't show up, I'll be in breach of contract. Hmm. Uh, though that's only for willful breach. What if it was force majeure? Say, for instance, you get injured. Then we'd have enough time to get to the bottom of those mysterious texts. Hmm? Injured? Yeah, you know, a fake injury. That would do it. Oh, and say you're injured in front of the press. That'd really back it up. Hmm. You know, I think you might be onto something. Maybe pull the same old trick from two years ago. Yeah. All right. I'll need to go pay a visit to our old friend. But first... I need an excuse to play the witch. Let me think. <laughs> Buy me a coffee. Huh? Oh. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said same old trick. You even have any allergies? If I did have an allergy, it'd be a fake one. I'm an actress, remember? Huh. <laughs> How can I forget? All right, I've got to go meet someone. Toodles. The incident two years ago somehow involves allergies and coffee? Are people allergic to coffee? Something in coffee? Caffeine? Guess I'll follow you. Sasha? Oh, hey, Flora. Don't. Neither of us think that. We both trust you. Is Jeff in there? Sasha? Oh, hey, Four Eyes. Just wanted to come say hi to Jeff. Sounds good. I'll let you two talk. I gotta check in with the other actors. That you, Sasha? Heard you was gonna come back, but what you doing down here? Figured you'd be up on stage getting ready. I have a favor to ask. Whoa, 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 no siree. Not again, Sash. It'll be easy. Just do it the same way as you did last time. Not with Tamara being the anniversary of you know what. You can't keep pulling these stunts. Give my old heart a break. Oh, stop it. You were well paid. Though now that you mention it, what did you do with that old rope? Threw it in the trash, of course. Why? What's it to you? Uh, the trash, of course. Okay. Incident also involves rope. Rope. Jeff threw away in trash. That must be where the person- Break. Oh, stop it. You were well paid. Though now that you mention it, what did you do with that old rope? Threw it in the trash, of course. Why? What's it to you? Uh, the trash, of course. That must be where the person who just blackmailed me found it. What? That's impossible. <sighs> Calm down. I took care of it. Cost me a fortune, though. Cleaning up your mess. What do you say? You help me again, and we'll call it even. If someone really found it, that's just more reason for me not to do it again. Relax, will ya? No one suspected you last time. Four Eyes got all the heat. Yeah, but while everyone was suspecting Four Eyes, he was suspecting me. That quiet creep was obsessed with Emily, started poking into things after you left. Uh uh. Even if you were willing to pay me again, the only place I'd have to spend it is the prison commissary. <sighs> that won't happen, I promise. You want to know why? Because you'll be dropping the house on me this time. Uh, on you? That's exactly right. Even you know I don't want to commit suicide, right? You just cut the rope. And after Four Eyes presses the button to drop the house, 
I'm gonna pretend it hits my feet. Your feet? What exactly are you trying to pull, Sash? That doesn't concern you. Just do what I'm asking, all right? She dies. Then we're finished. And you can pretend this never happened. Well, uh, all right. There, it's done. You want me to change the marks on the stage, too? <sighs> what kind of stupid question is that? I don't want to get injured for real. Leave the marks right where they are. Otherwise, that thing might actually fall on me. Understood? <laughs> Good. I'm gonna go get ready. Sasha sounds like such a bee. Oh my gosh. Huh. I think she actually dies, right? The coffee and the allergies? Not sure how that plays into it, but it seems like Emily died because some props or something fell on her. Oh. I'll be damned. Everyone wants me to cut the rope today. Something tells me tonight's show is gonna be a real showstopper. Ooh, multiple people want him to cut the rope. Actually, fall on me. Understood? <laughs> Good. I'm gonna go get ready. Sasha? <gasps> is that... It is you! Oh, wow. I'm one of your biggest fans. A fan? <laughs> I didn't know they allowed fans backstage. Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. Actually, I'm your makeup artist. My name's Helen, and I have followed your career from here to Broadway. And I hear you're going to Hollywood next. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, what is it rude to ask for your autograph? When's your movie start shooting? And is it true your first on-screen role is some big bad villain? Why don't we continue this conversation while you do my makeup? My goodness. Now, what were you asking about my new movie? Oh, there's something on my mirror. Killers will be killed, Emily. Oh my gosh, that's the same thing all those ghost texts were saying. Who was in here earlier? I've been waiting right outside this room since Larry told me I was in charge of your makeup. No one's come in or out. And Emily? Didn't Emily die? No wonder this message seems like it's written written in blood there's no way you can perform after this sasha look closer you little fool it's not blood it's lipstick now i'm certain whoever's behind this must be here in the theater i'm going to catch them and make their life miserable wait here i need to go look for someone look for someone who was in the room we can check you seen that manager of mine in eyes you seen- Hey- Hey, Four Eyes. You seen that manager of mine? Harvey. As I recall, he went into the storeroom earlier. Got it. Thanks. I figured it out. Whoever's pretending to be Lee is in the- What? What the fuck? Oh my god, guys! Are- Are you okay? Who could have done this? What? Harvey! Wake up! Harvey! Oh my god, they're already dead! What's going on? Why is the back door locked? Larry! Larry, something terrible's happened. What? Whoa there, Sasha. Calm down. What happened? It's Harvey and Slim and, and Chrome Dome and Leo. They... Somebody's knocked them out. I... I... I don't even know if they're still alive. What? Wow. That's impossible. I just saw them earlier at the rehearsal. They're in the storeroom. Follow me. The storeroom? That's where Slim goes to get high. He thinks the straw in his costume masks the smell. Anyway, it's almost showtime. You and Ashley get ready to go out. I'll send Four Eyes to check. There's no way I'm going back on stage now. I want to get out of here, but I can't because someone locked the back door. Perhaps it is too dangerous for Sasha. Maybe I can... Oh, who, who is it? Uh, is Sasha there? Who's asking? And what do you want with her? It's me, Leo. <laughs> I need to talk to Sasha for a sec. He's lying. I just saw Leo unconscious in the storeroom. I don't know who that man is or what he wants. Sasha isn't here right now. A and you're not in the first scene either, so head backstage. We've already got enough going on here. What should I do, Larry? 
I can't just leave. He might be waiting outside. I'm thinking that you can use the side door on the stage. You can play the witch in the first scene. Then, when the smoke appears, you can use it as cover and leave from the side. And as for Dorothy, Ashley can play her, can't you? Uh, all right. If you're sure. Of course. Quick, let's switch our costumes. Give us a hand, Helen, would you? Right, I'm on it. Hurry. The role of the witch is simple. Just follow the marks on the stage. Got it. We're all set then. You know the lines, right, Ashley? Oh, don't worry. I've played Dorothy before. All right. We're on, Four Eyes. Raise the curtains. So it seems like they're playing the Wizard of Oz here. The markings? Sasha tells Jeff to not change them. Okay, now she's playing the witch, which she wanted to earlier anyway. What the heck is going on there, though? One of them is Leo, one of them is Chrome Dome. Sea Dome. Music, stop! Do any of you know what magic really entails? Is it hope? Miracles? Ha! More like a fool's hope. In Oz, magic means strength. Magic means power. And I, Eleonora, the witch of the east, possess that power. You shall all bow before me. There shall be no hope. Oh my god. There shall be no miracles. On my mark. Now. What? What? She's dead. It, it killed her. What happened? Who followed the ghost text's instructions to kill Sasha? Well, would it be Jeff? He cut the rope. No, we've seen way too little to start making assumptions right now. Yeah, where the heck is everybody? We still have Leo, Blake, Paul's Chrome Dome. Not sure where they are. This time... Oh, okay. Tomorrow's the anniversary of Emily's death. Have you? Gotten any messages from her? You mean those ghost texts? You guys got them too? We sure did. A few days ago, I got a text saying, Killers will be killed. And guess what? Sasha came back today. I figure Emily wants us to avenge her. What the hell? Don't tell me you're taking that text seriously. You two are one can short of a six pack. Oh, whatever. Go on with your revenge fantasy then. But leave me out of it. No can do. We need your help. You need to cut the rope so the house lands on Sasha. You know, kill her the same way she killed Emily. What? Name your price. You two are crazy. I ain't no murderer, and I can't be bought either. Not a murderer, huh? Then tell us. Who cut the rope back then and killed Emily? Jesus, calm down. What the hell's gotten into you, huh? It was an accident. Even the police said so. An accident? Or maybe you were smart enough to cover your tracks. You think I'm some sort of master assassin? I just work the boards and the flies. This is what we're willing to pay you. More than generous, don't you agree? Just tell us, are you in or out? Don't wave that cash in my face. It would take more than money to get me in your plan. Say I agree. I cut the rope and down comes the house on the wrong actress. Or did you forget Ashley is playing the witch tonight? So now you gotta get her and Sasha to switch roles and good luck convincing hottie Miss Hollywood to do that. Are you starting to understand? One dirty deed won't do the trick. There was a lot going on that night. Emily's throat closing up on account of a bad cup of joe, the rope that the forensic examiner said was too old, and then Emily walking onto the exact spot where the house was gonna fall. And so Emily had to switch roles because of the allergies with the coffee? 
something up on account of a bad cup of joe? The rope that the forensic examiner said was too old, and then Emily walking onto the exact spot where the house was gonna fall, and she walked there on her own. That's why her death's still a mystery today. The rope might be a link, but you boys are missing the rest of the chain. <laughs> you think I care about any of that? All I want is Sasha dead. She murdered Emily. So, can you kill her or not, huh? If you make it happen, the money's yours. You ain't even listening to me. I'd quit while you're ahead, boys. No way you can pull off something like that. Especially not without an inkling of a plan. If I help you, I might as well turn myself in right now. So stop wasting my time. Out! Out! <laughs> Are these two guys anyway? What do we do now? What do we do now? Without Jeff, we can't. Mm -hmm. I was hoping he'd cave and help us. Would have been easier that way. Though he was right that getting rid of Sasha ain't gonna be a walk in the park. Still, she's gotta pay for what she did to Emily. Time to call in the big guns. That text we got, killers will be killed, you sure that's Emily telling us to avenge her? Who else would it be? The killer's part is telling us she was murdered, so it wasn't some kind of accident. The will be killed part's telling us to kill that bitch who killed her. Can I take this to mean that these are the people who followed the texts? Out of curiosity though, are there multiple spaces? It's just one person. Yeah. Okay. Guess that makes sense. He's telling us to avenge her? Who else would it be? The killer's part is telling us she was murdered, so it wasn't some kind of accident. The will be killed part's telling us to kill that bitch who killed her. Guess that makes sense. But what about Slim? You think he got those same texts? Slim? When he ain't dancing around in his scarecrow getup, he doesn't give a shit about anything, unless it's good for him. Yeah, but what about Larry and everyone else? Turn off your brain and grow a spine. Tomorrow will be the day Emily died. It's up to us to see justice served today. No need for name calling. I'm just not sure about those big guns you mentioned is all. Those guys you wanted to hire, they're Kinda scary. Don't worry. I'll handle everything. Okay, this guy makes a call. I don't know his name yet. Guy makes call. <laughs> Paul? Whoever answers it's that is Paul. Once you come in, I'm in the first room on the left. That's all taken care of. They'll be here any minute. I, uh, gotta take a leak. Now? For God's sake, you can't piss now! <laughs> Guess I'll follow this guy. You're shaking pretty bad, Leo. You alright? Me? I, uh, oh, I'm, I'm fine. Just, you know, tomorrow's the anniversary and all, you know? Uh, speaking of... You haven't gotten any texts from Emily, have you? Oh, please. You guys actually believe that superstitious horse shit? I'd expect that from the others, but really? You too? Me? <laughs> uh, of course not. Just asking. I mean... I'm writing down who's been getting the ghost texts. So, so far, we know that Jeff, Sasha, Leo have been getting the texts, and they probably aren't the ones who sent it them, right? I think this guy is probably Chrome Dome, but uh, we'll see. Makes me wonder, is all. I mean, what if from the others, but really? You two? Me? <laughs> uh, of course not. Just asking. I mean, makes me wonder, is all. I mean, what if they are real? What if that really is Emily asking us to avenge her? <laughs> like I care. I didn't exist as far as Emily was concerned. 
Know what I'm saying? Didn't even have her number. So even if she was sending me these so-called texts, they'd all be filtered as spam. But besides that, revenge? Come on. You guys spend too much time in the theater. Oh, gotta head out. Catch you later. Wash your hands. Oh my goodness. Uh, you're sure none of this will be traced back to us? Those two are pros. You've got nothing to worry about. Come on in. Here's the down payment, Paul. Your target's Sasha. I'll take the money, but this guy is Paul. The target's Sasha. She'll be found dead on stage tonight. Time of death will be 8.15 p.m. Unless the original plan changes, you don't have to repeat it. Uh, no changes. No, no changes. In our disguises. Are they ready? Two costumes. The Cowardly Lion and the Tin Man. Put them on, and you'll be able to walk around backstage. <laughs> no one will suspect a thing. Mm-hmm. There's some disguises going on here. Just remember not to talk to anyone. Just remember not to talk to anyone. Jesus, that sounded just like Leo. We're pros. We can act better than you when we have to. Just one more thing. Us two, we're not gonna become suspects, right? Good thinking. So, what's your alibi? Alibi? The police are gonna ask about your whereabouts later. What are you gonna say, huh, Leo? What? I, uh, I don't... No? Yeah. Happens every time. Her alibi. Mm, how about... I didn't say anything up until now, but isn't it insane how these two people, or this guy really, he's completely taken this into his own hands. Oh, Emily was killed two years ago. Now I gotta avenge her and hire hitmen to kill Sasha. Like, what? We were... Yeah. Happens every time. Her alibi. Mm, how about we were on stage? Ugh. In these costumes you just gave us? Uh, right. Uh, we could report them stolen. Ah. <sighs> Tell you what. We'll provide you guys with an alibi, free of charge. Oh. So Paul is pretending to be Leo, and this guy's pretending to be this guy. Which is probably what Sasha saw in the room later on, the costumes. Oh. oh. And they're out. Nighty night, boys. Oh, wow. <laughs> Amateurs, all of them. I have no idea what they're getting into. Well, the customer is always right. We only did this to make sure we get the rest of our payment. Anyway, let's drag him to the storeroom and tie him up. When the police arrive, they'll just add him to the pile of victims. No harm, no foul. I'll carry him. You make sure the hallway's clear. Got it. These two people are unconscious already. All clear. Let's go. Storeroom's that way. Huh. Calm down, Leo. Hey guys, uh -huh. the show's about to start. What are you still doing here? I could ask the same of you two. Hey, uh, guys. Uh -huh. Yeah, so like I thought, the other guy's Chrome Dome. It's this guy, okay? Paul is responding when he says Chrome Dome because he's pretending to be him, I think. This guy's Chrome Dome. Huh? Who is it? Huh? Chrome Dome, Leo. Hey guys, huh? the show's about to start. What are you still doing here? I could ask the same of you two. Hey, uh, who are you carting along, huh? Wait, Chrome Dawn, Leo. What the hell is going on here? Nice stash of cash you got there, huh? Do I get a piece of it too? Gah! I, um, no. Clean up the mess. Take a look at all this cash. From Sasha. Forget about Dorothy and her little dog. Oh, don't worry. We'll take the money. But we're not leaving here while that actress is still alive. We've got a reputation to keep up. Sounds good. Let's go find our target. 
And close the door. Got it. Oh my goodness. Sasha isn't here. Of course she isn't. Sasha finds the bodies. Well, why did they go in that room then? If they knew that she wasn't going to be there. Huh? What's this on the mirror? Killers will be killed. Emily. Oh! Someone beat us to it? I just realized that there was only one guy I didn't mark yet, so this guy has to be Blake. And I think it's unlikely that these two people are the people who sent the ghost texts, right? Because they just seem like professional killers. So I'm gonna add them to my list here. Hmm. It's just a threat. Sasha's still alive. Maybe. But things are getting a lot more convoluted than we thought. Still stick to the plan? For now, yes. But be careful. Got it. Who was pretending to be Leo outside? Oh, these guys. <clears throat> Is Sasha there? Who's asking? And what do you want with her? It's me, Leo. Just need to talk to Sasha for a sec. You don't even sound like Leo. <laughs> Sasha isn't here right now, a and you're not in the first scene either, so head backstage. We've already got enough going on here. Yeesh, so many people. We do it anyway? No, too messy. She only has one exit with the back door locked. We just need to make sure she doesn't leave. So, where can we keep an eye on the entire stage? Let me check the schematic. Uh-huh. I'd say the master control room should work. Here. Then let's go. Right there. Didn't I tell you two to get lost? What are you doing back here? And in costume to boot? Got something to show you is all. Yeah? Why all the mystery? <laughs> Another sorry ass taken care of. I'll keep an eye on Dorothy from here. You tie him up and lock the door. Got it. Dorothy? But she's the witch now. There. That's her. On stage. Oh, but they can see her. So Blake is the one who's actually activating the machine, right? I mean, I guess I would say... Oh, follow the ghost text's instructions to kill Sasha? They were hired. They weren't following the text's instructions. What the... It the killed house. her. It fell on top what of her. What do you do, Paul? I didn't do squat. Oh. Someone must have beaten us to the punch. Things are getting out of control. We need to pull out. Roger that. Oh, the hired killers didn't get to actually do the killing because Jeff cut the rope already. Hmm. We didn't see the beginning of how those two guys came in here, so let me just check on that. Who was I following anyway? I just started randomly following those two. I think they came in through the back door, right? Because they mentioned locking it earlier. Yeah, here we go. They locked it. Come on in. Mm, and then they go inside. All right. Mm, maybe let's go back to following Jeff the whole way then. He's in here the whole time. He doesn't go anywhere. The entire time. Tomorrow's the anniversary of Emily's death. <laughs> Yeah, they leave. Because they were trying to get Jeff to kill Sasha, but he's like, what? Of course not. Wow. So this thing holds 
cleans up that whole house, huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing in here? Oh, cool your jets. It's faster to get to the dressing room through here. Faster until you break your leg on something. All right, all right. Duly noted, Mr. Fun Killer. I think Helen is suspicious. She might have messed with something here. And we gotta figure out who wrote the lipstick stuff too on the mirror. One quick question though, just because I'm curious. This rope, what happens when it gets old, huh? Will it break? Break? Did someone tell you to come asking me questions? Heavens to Murgatroyd, it was just a question, whatever. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> this person's voice. My goodness. What a lonely job. Four eyes. Any orders from our dear director, Four Eyes? Just wants you to double check all the props. Larry? What? Larry doesn't think I can do my job? Or maybe you don't. Neither of us think that. We both trust you. Is Jeff in there? Sasha? Oh, hey, Four Eyes. Just wanted to come say hi to Jeff. Sounds good. I'll let you two talk. I gotta check in with the other actors. That you, Sasha? Heard you was gonna come back, but what you doing down here? Figured you'd be up on stage getting ready. I have a favor to ask. Whoa, 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 no siree. Not again, Sasha. It'll be easy. Just do it the same way as you did last time. Not with Tamara being the anniversary of you-know-what. You can't keep pulling these stunts. Give my old heart a break. Oh, stop it. You were well paid. Though now that you mention it, what did you do with that old rope? Threw it in the trash, of course. Why? What's it to you? <gasps> the trash, of course! That must be where the person who just blackmailed me found it. What? That's impossible. <sighs> Calm down. I took care of it. Cost me a fortune, though. Cleaning up your mess. What do you say? You help me again, and we'll call it even. If someone really found it, that's just more reason for me not to do it again. Relax, will ya? No one suspected you last time. Four Eyes got all the heat. Yeah, but while everyone was suspecting Four Eyes, he was suspecting me. That quiet creep was obsessed with Emily, started poking into things after you left. Uh-uh. Even if you were willing to pay me again, the only place I'd have to spend it is the prison commissary. <sighs> that won't happen, I promise. You wanna know why? Because you'll be dropping the house on me this time. Uh, on you? That's exactly right. Even you know I don't wanna commit suicide, right? You just cut the rope. And after Four Eyes presses the button to drop the house, I'm gonna pretend it hits my feet. Your feet? What exactly you trying to pull, Sash? That doesn't concern you. Just do what I'm asking, all right? Then we're finished. And you can pretend this never happened. Well, oh, well, all right. There, it's done. You want me? Guess we can make a note here. Jeff cuts rope, for real. Need to change the marks on the stage, too? question is that? I don't want to get injured for real. Leave the marks right where they are. Otherwise, that thing might actually fall on me. Understood? <laughs> Good. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be damned. Every Someone must have moved the marks then, right? Because if the marks were correct, then the house wouldn't have fallen on her because she would have known to not stand in that spot. Someone wants me to cut the rope today. Something tells me tonight's show is gonna be a real showstopper. <laughs> What's Jeff doing here the whole time anyway? Huh? You again? What? Something else to double check? Nah, I think I left my phone here. Your phone? Everything all right there? You ain't normally one to go around forgetting stuff. 
Jeez, Sasha's back for a few days and suddenly you're acting all weird. I'm hardly the only one who's acting weird, wouldn't you say? What do you mean by that? Never mind. Found it. I'll leave you be now. <laughs> okay, kind of weird. Four Eyes picks up his phone from control room. Not much action going on on Jeff's end. Except the button press for the house falling down. Doesn't that gotta happen here? Yeah, okay. Nothing else with Jeff here then. Okay. We don't know too much about maybe Helen. Sure, we'll follow Helen. We'll be joining tonight's performance, which means there's going to be a lot of press. Hmm. So, since we've got some time, why don't we rehearse the opening scene one more time? Blocking's crucial here. We've got this. Don't worry. Sasha's playing Dorothy today, which means, Ashley, you'll be playing the supporting roles. Really? I knew this would happen. Well, whatever. All right. Four Eyes, you play Dorothy for now. Just follow the marks on the stage. Got it. Okay, which stand on the mark? Yes, much better. Which start walking? Tech, are you ready? Okay, press the button, Four Eyes. Make sure the house lands right in front of the witch. Oh, the button's over here. I thought it was over here. Huh. So whoever presses the button, would that not be the killer? Or, mm, depends on if he intended on it or not. Okay, the witch screams. Now, she's dead. Release the dry ice. And the witch, leave the stage from the back. Dorothy, you're on. Walk to the center, the Hold on. The witch, leave the stage from the back. Okay, press the button, four eyes. Make sure the house lands right in front of the witch. Oh. I just want to compare Ashley's position to Sasha's position by the end. Yeah. 49. Yeah, what? Sasha doesn't even walk over in that spot. She walks right underneath the house. Then the marker's been changed. Larry seems to check over on this too. That's suspicious. Make sure the house lands right in front of the witch. Okay, the witch screams. Now? She's dead. Release the dry ice. And the witch, leave the stage from the back. Dorothy, you're on. Walk to the center of the stage. Good job, guys. Great job. Looking good. Send the house back up, Four Eyes. And while you're at it, check that rope, will you? Will do. Check the rope. What is it? You've been working in this theater for quite some time, yeah? So you knew Emily, the actress who played Dorothy before Sasha? You wouldn't happen to know if Sasha had anything to do with her death, would you? So then, you heard the rumors too. Sasha took Emily's place right after she died, and just like that, her career took off. I mean, it's hard not to suspect her. Okay, I'm adding her to my list of people who probably didn't send the ghost texts. So far on my list, I have Jeff, Sasha, Leo, Paul, Blake, Harvey, Helen. Leaving who? Slim? I don't think Slim did it either. Yeah, because he was doing the whole blackmail thing. Why would he bother doing the text? Leaving Four Eyes? And Ashley? And Larry? Yeah. Chrome Dome was following the text's instructions. He wasn't the one sending it. Mmm, of all these people, Four Eyes supposedly acts weird, and Ashley... Ashley could be jealous, because she's always had the supporting roles. You? It's hard not to suspect her. Uh, you can believe what you want, but there's no evidence. There's no use in going around pointing fingers. I guess I just don't get it. 
how did the house suddenly just fall on her? Who was holding the remote when it happened? I, uh, I was. Oh? Don't tell me that you might have. Of course not. And it's not like I wasn't a suspect as well. But there's no way I could have done it. The remote only controls the hook on the rope. If the rope breaks, well, no remote control or hook can stop that. The rope broke before I even pressed the button. That was confirmed by the police, too. Oh, I see. Still quite the interesting coincidence, though. Yeah, yeah, think whatever you want, but watch it. If Sasha finds out you've been snooping around, she'll make your life miserable. Uh, noted. Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. Well, I think it's pretty clear that Sasha's the one who organized Emily's murder, along with her manager Harvey and Jeff, right? Because she asked Jeff to cut the rope. And Four Eyes was obsessed with Emily, supposedly. And he suspected Jeff as well, but there was no evidence to say anything. So he shouldn't be Emily's killer. But if he was obsessed with Emily, he would have a motive to kill Sasha. Wow, so this thing holds up that whole house, huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing in here? <laughs> oh, cool your jets. It's faster to get to the dressing room through here. Faster until you break your leg on something. <laughs> question though just because I'm curious this rope what happens when it gets old huh will it break break did someone tell you to come asking me questions heavens to Murgatroyd it was just a question whatever have fun <laughs> good lord this lady's voice acting it's so hammy what's this room and what are you doing here? Helen, Helen! I've got the most brilliant idea. Wow, what's got you all in a tizzy, girl? The idea of a lifetime! This is gonna be a golden opportunity for me! But I need your help. I'm listening! I was just talking to Larry, and he reminded me of something. If there's gonna be as much press here as he says, I need to play Dorothy. Even just once! It's guaranteed to get my name out there. Sure it would, but there's no way in hell Sasha will agree to that. Well, sure, not willingly, but what if something were to, you know, happen? And she wouldn't be able to play Dorothy. And just what are you thinking, huh? You pull something like that and Sasha will eat you alive. Huh. It sounds like Ashley wants to play a prank, but not murder Sasha. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt her or anything. Just who do you think I am? I'm thinking something more along the lines of those ghost texts from Emily. You mean that actress who died on stage, right? A couple different people have said they've gotten texts from her now. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Yeah? And rumors say it was Sasha who had Emily killed, which is how Sasha became the leading actress. I was just talking to Four Eyes about that. He said there was no proof and that I shouldn't fan the flames, so to speak. I don't need any proof. All I'm thinking is, what if I use the whole ghost texting thing to scare Sasha a little? Make it so she doesn't want to play Dorothy anymore. Th okay, so Ashley did not send the previous ghost texts then. Which narrows down my list of suspects to just Larry and Four Eyes, really. Then I'll get my chance. That's actually not a half bad plan. From what I heard, everyone here liked Emily a lot. Wouldn't surprise me if Sasha feels like target numero uno right now. They did seem to be pretty choked up anytime someone mentioned her name. If they really think she was murdered, I wouldn't doubt they'd be out for blood. All right. All right, all right. I'll play along. But what is it you need me to do exactly? I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Just letting you know that right now. What do you take me for, huh? Nah. All I need you to do is give her dressing room a little makeover before she goes in. The lipstick. To scare her a little. You know? 
I can try. Mm, you're the best. Yeah, yeah. You can thank me later. Yeah, it's just a prank, though. There's no murder plot here. Sasha? You in there? Doing the lipstick message. Sounds really weird. fans backstage. Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. Actually, I'm your makeup artist. Yeah, so she's Helen, lying here. And I have a here to Broadway. And I We've heard this part. I remember it well. There's something on my mirror. Killers will be killed. Who was in here earlier? I've been waiting right outside this room since Larry told me I was in charge of your makeup. No one's come in or out. It's in blood! There's no way you can perform after this, Sasha. Look, 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 them and make their life miserable. Yeah, and then we've seen this because we were following Sasha to begin with. As I recall, he went into the storeroom earlier. Got it. Thanks. He's looking for Harvey. Sasha might be your... That might be... Ash. I don't know. Either Sasha has the best luck in the world... Oh, uh, let's go back a little bit here. It's getting a little bit messy trying to follow, like, 12 people here. me, Larry. Wasn't it Emily that always played the leading roles? I mean, back before she died? What was she doing playing the witch? Um, you know, that day. Well, we're a small theater company, but we were even smaller back then. We only had two female actresses, so Emily would play the leading roles, which in this case was Dorothy, and Sasha had to cover all the other female roles. That day, though, Emily had an allergic reaction. The coffee. Accidentally had a sip of some hazelnut coffee and damn near threw her voice out. Can't really sing somewhere over the rainbow with a bum throat. So she and Sasha switched for the night. Wow. One accident after another, seems like. <laughs> what are the odds? Makes you wonder who got her coffee that day. Doesn't it? Sasha. That, I don't know. Either Sasha has the best luck in the world... Or Emily had the worst. <laughs> Ashley, Sasha might be your... Oh, Larry! Helen? <laughs> oh, I better get on stage. Have you, uh, taken care of it? The, uh, new alterations? I sewed on the applique, but they didn't work like we hoped. Larry, something terrible's happened. What? Oh, there's Sasha. Calm down. What happened? It's Harvey and Slim and and Chrome Dome and Leo. They somebody's knocked them out. I I I don't even know if they're still alive. What? Wow. That's impossible. I just saw them earlier at the rehearsal. They're in the storeroom. Follow me. The storeroom? That's where Slim goes to get high. He thinks the straw in his costume masks the smell. And it's kind of crazy how Sasha's like, oh my god, people are fainted, and Larry's like, oh, well, I'm not gonna go over there. We've seen this part. Anyway, it's almost... <laughs> Which is simple. Just follow the marks on the stage. If you're sure. Of course. Wait. Quick, let's switch our costume. Dorothy, Ashley can play her, can't you? Hmm. All right. Sasha doesn't want to play Dorothy anymore. 
Wait, Larry is the one who suggested that Sasha exit from the... This, uh, stairs here, right? Oh. Okay. Hold on. There's still a few strands we haven't followed yet. Slim and Harvey. But I get the impression that Larry and Four Eyes... One of them sent the texts, and maybe the other one followed instructions. Back in the beginning here. Slim waiting for... Sasha to show up. And they're practicing in the front stage. Oh, you're right about that. See this cut here? Who did that, I wonder? <laughs> what do you think the police would say if they got their hands on this, huh? I don't have time for this. <laughs> Just pay him. You got your cash. Give it here. Yeah. Not those texts, either. Those about drove me crazy. What texts? Oh, stop playing Yeah, dumb. so Slim didn't send the texts. You must have the stage. Emily. Did <laughs> now? Oh, shut it! Did you send this or not? As if... Look, you, he has the please. guts to blackmail yeah. someone, so I don't think he would lie about sending the texts. Let's just get out of here. Come on. Nice seeing you. Break a leg. Or maybe something else. And now he's just chilling out here to get high. But the manager comes back in here later on. So maybe the manager is with Slim. They're trying to get money from Sasha. Who knows? He's not even peeing. He's shaking pretty bad, Leo. You all right? Me? I, uh, oh, I'm, I'm fine. Just, you know, tomorrow's the anniversary and all, you know? Uh, speaking of, you haven't gotten any texts from Emily, have you? Oh, please. Yeah. Just as far as Emily was concerned. <laughs> Know what I'm saying? Didn't even have her number. So even if she was sending me these so-called texts, they'd all be filtered as spam. But besides that, revenge? Come on. It's time to get out there. Catch you later. For some reason, Harvey's come back here. We were pretty convincing back there, huh? Yeah. Now where's my cut? <sighs> there you go. Gotta hand it to you, man. Must have been tough getting Miss Big Star back here. Ah, uh, don't flatter me. But what was that text about, huh? You don't trust me? Had to hear Sasha in my conversation for yourself. So you make me call you behind her back. That's a good way of getting caught. Also, that's a bit paranoid. Even for you. But whatever. She agreed to the fake injury thing, so we'll be fine. Wait, what? Text? Call? I didn't know such thing. This whole thing too much for you, big guy? Rattling a few brain cells, huh? You sent me a text telling me to call you, you ignoramus. Look, oh? right here. Call me. Don't let Sasha know. Gotta hear what she wants to do next, huh? What the hell? Let me see that. And see? The text before that, telling me to get her to fake an injury. And before that, telling me to convince her to come back to the theater. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, why would I care about any of that? I'm only in this for the money. Doesn't matter to me if she's injured or not, or even if she performs tonight. Besides, this ain't even my phone number. Wait. If these aren't from you, then who the hell are they from? Wait a minute. Hold it. I remember this number. It, it ain't yours? All the texts I've been getting were from this number, too. What? Let me see your phone. Here, see for yourself. And check out all those texts you sent me. Well, I'll be damned. Then whoever this person is, they've been contacting both of us. God damn it. Let me check something. 
Uh, that old contact book should still be in this room somewhere. It's four eyes. E e it's four eyes, because remember? He said he left his phone here earlier. So I think that's a hint. We just gotta follow four eyes later on. Emily. Emily. There she is. 917-633. Fuck me. That's Emily's number. God damn. Then, then all this was Emily's idea? And the rope I got? And our meeting today? Well, this is starting to creep me out. Wait. You don't really think it's Emily's ghost, do you? Nah, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm calling this number. Four eyes come in to get the phone. Busy? Huh? Who is it? Huh? Huh? Chrome Dome. Leo. Hey, guys. Huh? The show's about to start. Let's go back a little bit. Maybe Four Eyes denied that call right away. You again. Huh? You again? What? Something else to double check? Nah. I think I left my phone here. Your phone? Everything all right there? You ain't normally one to go around forgetting stuff. Jeez, Sasha's back for a few days and suddenly you're acting all weird. I'm hardly the only one who's acting weird, wouldn't you say? What do you mean by that? Never mind. Cause he's suspicious of Jeff for killing Emily. Found it. I'll leave you be now. <laughs> Yeah, he picks up his phone. Um, let's follow Four Eyes from the beginning. He picks up his phone at the same time as Slim tries to call another phone. Her coffee that day. Four Eyes was doing the whole thing in the beginning here with the practice. And then he talks to Helen. And that's it. He just stays there for... Oh? He's talking to someone on the phone. He's only listening. Is he eavesdropping? Uh, it's because from earlier, the, conver the conversation with Harvey and Slim, we know that Harvey was sent a text saying, call Sasha or call me when you're talking to Sasha. So what Four Eyes is doing right now is he's eavesdropping on Sasha and Harvey. Probably this call will stop the moment they leave the room. He's not saying anything at all. Okay. Let me go back a little bit here. I just want to see if their conversation ended around this point. Around here. Coffee. Huh? Oh. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said same old trick. Oh, hmm. He just stopped listening, it Any seems. Orders from our dear director, Four Eyes. Just wants you to double check all the props. What? Larry doesn't think I can do my job? Or maybe you don't. Neither of us think that. We both trust you. Is Jeff in there? Forget about this. Are you, Sasha? No, I feel pretty certain that Four Eyes is the one who sent the texts, and Sasha is the one who organized the murders. So we just gotta figure out. Sasha? Oh. Oh, what was that? Sasha? <laughs> is anyone there? Jeff? Sasha? What? It's weird. And Four Eyes just stays here. 
does literally nothing. Hey, four eyes. Huh? Come in here for a sec, will ya? I wanna ask you something. Yeah? You know Sasha, right? What made Miss Big Star suddenly decide to come back and perform here again? In this tiny little theater? Not sure. Article I read says she misses us. Something about never forgetting her roots. <laughs> ha ha, how touching. Seriously though, what do you think? You believe that? How in the world am I supposed to know? And the Dorothy before her? Emily? Wasn't she like the pride and joy of this theater back then? Everyone loved her. Larry and her had a thing. And hell, even Leo and Chrome don't Wait. Were all googly. Larry and Emily had a thing. I didn't even catch that previously. I towards her. Where did you hear? Yeah. Larry and her had a thing. And hell, even Leo and Chrome Dome were all googly eyed towards her. Where did you hear all that? Hmm. Slim was talking about it. He told me Chrome Dome never believed what happened to Emily was an accident. Even said he was gonna avenge her. Slim's never been able to keep his mouth shut. <sighs> it's complicated, is what it is. The whole thing. And it'll only make it worse if you go around spreading rumors. Anyway, I should get back to work. You too. Start getting ready for the show. He's trying to act like the good guy here. You're looking a bit under the weather. Everything all right? I I'm fine. I'm fine. Who is that? Old friend of mine. Never mind that. How are the actors? They ready? Emily's texts have been making everyone nervous, especially with Sasha back. But overall, things seem okay. Mm. All right. Do me a favor and ask the others to wait a little longer. I need to check the blocking marks one last time. As soon as that's done, we'll get started. Will do. Oh, I think we got it. Larry's the one who adjusted the marks. Oh. But for the sake of seeing it all, because we still haven't followed Larry's path yet. Let's see where Four Eyes goes now. Oh, he picks up his phone. That's right. And then he goes back. Hey, you seen that manager of mine? Harvey? As I recall, he went into the storeroom earlier. Got it. Thanks. First. Yeah. No, we got this. We've got this. We've seen this. Glory. I've played Dorothy. All right. Four eyes pushes the button. There shall be no the house on my mark. No. What? What? She's dead. It, it killed her. In those texts. Hmm. What happened? Gee, I wonder what happened. So Four Eyes is doing this because it's like a discreet way of killing Sasha without him being the one to actually execute it. But man, these people are so easily influenced. Why would they kill someone just based off a text? Seems Gosh. Last but not least, let's follow Larry all the way through. Sasha will be joined. Don't worry. And while you're at it, check that rope, will you? Will do. Larry. Don't give me that. Supporting roles aren't that bad. You get to play the Wicked Witch of the East, the Good Witch of the North, and the Wicked Witch of the West. Well, three of them. Yeah? Well, all those roles come down to one word. Witch. Ashley, look on the bright side, <laughs> will ya? You get to perform together with one of Hollywood's rising stars. You put on a good enough performance, someone's bound to see it. Yeah, if they could even see me with Sasha out there. Listen, Sasha was once in your shoes, you know. Then, after Emily's accident, she got her big break. All I'm saying is, you just be ready for anything. If it ends up Sasha can't perform on a certain night, you need to be there to fill in. Oh. Is this one of your plans, then? Plan? What are you talking about? I just want you to be prepared, is all. 
As for me, I hope that Sasha will be able to perform all three days. Look at that. He's planning on switching Sasha's role already from here. I don't think he anticipated that Ashley and Helen would pull a prank on her, but it just sort of ended up that way. All right, all right. I just got a bit carried away. Speaking of Emily's accident, though, have you heard about the ghost texts? Yeah, a lot of people saying they're getting texts from Emily. You get any, Larry? All that is is nonsense. Yeah, but have you gotten any? Come on, fess up. All right, all right. Yes, I have. But I'm telling you now, this has absolutely nothing to do with Emily. Okay, so even if I didn't already suspect Larry, according to the list I wrote down here, I can cross off Larry now, and the only suspect left is Four Eyes. That I'm sure of. Her phone went missing after she died. Someone must have taken her SIM card and decided to pull a prank. A very distasteful one, I might add. Huh. Killers will be killed. Doesn't sound like a prank to me. Maybe it is Emily, and now she's out for revenge. Makes me think Sasha really did have something to do with Emily's death. That's hogwash. Sure, sure, Sasha might have benefited the most from Emily's death, but that doesn't mean she killed her. Even the police ruled it an accident. But she did kill yeah, her. <laughs> but what if someone really did murder her? <sighs> I'd be first in line to see them suffer. That's what. <gasps> uh, sorry, I Whoa. just needed to blow off some steam. <laughs> it's hard to pretend I don't miss our late leading lady. But the show must go on, so go get ready for tonight. Focus. I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm off to make up. I think this is one of the easier cases so far because there's been some really clear evidence that people are guilty. <laughs> what are you flipping? Checking the script? He's just sort of chilling out here. Huh? Who'd be calling me now? Emily's number? How oh, this makes perfect sense, because I think Four Eyes just picked up his phone from the... the control room, right? But we didn't hear him dial. Maybe it's on silent? Oh, what? Is anyone there? Jeff? Sasha? Anyone there? Number. Hello? Who is it? Is anyone there? Oh, Jeff? no one's saying anything. Sasha? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, what happened is Four Eyes called Larry and left the phone there, and now he's listening to Sasha and Jeff talk. Right? Because he says, Sasha, Jeff? Jeff? Sasha? Yeah. What were they talking about at this time? Killing Emily, and how Sasha wants Jeff to cut the rope, so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah, look. They were talking about the previous rope incident. Which might be the first time Larry's learning about this. Which gives him even a bigger motive. And Four Eyes is setting it up so Larry gets to hear this so that he would be motivated to kill Sasha. Huh? 
Yeah, see? The conversation ends as soon as their conversation ends. You're looking a bit under the weather. Everything all right? I I'm fine. I'm fine. Who is that? Old friend of mine. Never mind that. How are the actors? They ready? Emily's texts have been making everyone nervous, especially with Sasha back. But overall, things seem okay. Mm. All right. Do me a favor and ask the others to wait a little longer. I need to check the blocking marks one last time. As soon as that's done, we'll get started. Will do. There we go. Now he's gonna adjust it. We know Jeff didn't, because Sasha said, don't do it. Oh my god, this is so obvious! He literally moves the marker underneath the house so that she would die. Okay, we don't need to see any more. I feel pretty confident about this one. Who organized Emily's murder? Sasha. Who sent the ghost texts? Four eyes. Who followed the ghost texts instructions to kill Sasha? That would be... Larry. Yes. There's only three people who know what really happened two years ago. Whoever's blackmailing me this time, I highly doubt they have anything It's Jeff, to Leo, and Chrome Dome. You're right about that. See this cut here? Who did that, I wonder? Not with tomorrow being the anniversary of you know what. You can't keep pulling these stunts. Give my old heart a break. Yeah, but what if someone really did murder her? First in line to see them so that's what would be calling me now. Emily's number. Hello? Who is it? Is anyone there? Jeff? Sasha? I need to check the blocking box one last time. As soon as that's done, we'll get started. Any orders from our dear director, Four Eyes? Just wants you to double check all the props. Let's see who answers. Is he? You again? Why? Something else to double check? Nah, uh, I think I left my phone here. Your phone? Everything alright there? You ain't normally one to go around forgetting stuff. The phone line was busy because Four Eyes connected the phone to Larry. Interesting. Then. Someone used the director to commit the murder. Congratulations, detective. You've passed the test. Unfortunately, there's no time to celebrate. The real work is about to begin. I think that was the most straightforward case so far. Because there were some really incriminating and suspicious things, like four eyes, listening on someone's conversation for like five minutes without saying anything and larry moving the marker those were the biggest things